Hi guys, welcome to the first word presented by Dr. Pepper. I'm Emma Garcia, joined by Nick Inman and Rob Phillips. The Dallas Cowboys lose against Seattle 24-13. Now let's start off by talking about a guy we've been talking about for several months and that we will probably keep talking about, Earl Thomas. How did he perform tonight, one of the best players during the game? I think he was the best player on the field. You can tell why. There was so much interest uh, for the Cowboys and maybe other teams way back in the draft in the offseason to acquire him because he's a difference maker, and he made a difference. I think he made the two best catches in the whole game by all the receivers on both teams, uh, really put the game away. He, he's unbelievable, and, and you know one of the reasons why you want him on your team is you know because he's not on the other team, and he definitely helped Seattle win the game. And another thing that we're going to keep talking about is the Cowboys offense. Rob, again, they're unable to move the offense and score more than one touchdown. I mean, what is going on here? Well, I mean, when you're averaging 13 and a half points a game through three games, you're not going to you're not going to put yourself in position to win a lot of football games. I think they realize that it's something they've got to get fixed. I think tonight Dak Prescott was under siege a lot. He got sacked five times. That didn't help. Uh, and when they had opportunities, they weren't able to cash in. I mean, Zeke Elliott, Stats-wise, had a good game, but when you look at what happened, dropped a third down catch, potentially. The illegal touching penalty was really costly, wiped out a touchdown, and then he might have been in position to score uh, later in the game and then had the fumble. So really just nothing, anything that could go wrong did for the offense, and it kind of reminded you of the Carolina game a little bit. And we talked about the Seattle def offense not being very good and the Cowboys possibly having a better defense to be able to contain Russell Wilson, but clearly the defense didn't do enough. What, what did you notice during the game, Nick? You know, I think Russell, he's not just a mobile quarterback. I mean, he had a couple of throws in there that, that were amazing. And so he's really improved uh, as, as a, you know, he's a mobile quarterback, but he's definitely a dual threat guy. And I thought he was a difference maker too. He, he picked his, his spots. They didn't run a lot with him. Uh, Carson ran the ball really well. I thought the Cowboys had some some bad penalties there. I mean, I think the Randy Gregory penalty right before half turns out to be pretty big because if you're driving late in the game only down eight, you're not forcing it to Blake Jarwin, who still hasn't made any plays in his career. So you're not going to force it to him. You're down only down one score. So that three points was really big at the end of the half. And we were starting to get excited about the Cowboys defense, but some things might have changed after a few injuries. What are the biggest concerns here injury-wise? Well, Sean Lee, first of all, you hope that hamstring isn't something that's going to linger all season long. It bothered him last year. Apparently, he re-aggravated it in the game. And again, soft tissue, it's week to week sometimes, and you don't know how long it's going to take. Obviously, he's a key to their defense, even though they've added depth there, linebacker, and then obviously safety. You know, Kayvon Frazier's been banged up. Jeff Heath got back in the game. They're thin there, too. Uh, but again, the defense, though, however, has been the, has been the uh, bright spot all, all, uh, for, the, for the team. Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. Safety. Maybe, maybe they need to get a safety. Maybe they get, need some depth there. Maybe. Maybe we need to fish around and see what we can find out there. All right. Make sure to check out DallasCowboys.com for the upcoming news. Hopefully we get some exciting news happening this upcoming week. For Nicky Inman, Rob Phillips, and Member Garcia, this was the first word presented by Dr. Pepper. Oh,